What's up guys? Welcome back or it's your first time to my channel then welcome. So today we are going to be doing a very very to try to get ready with me. I'm giving you guys some life updates. I'm also answering some of your most asked questions. And I also did this little makeup look as I was chatting with you guys. You know when you're talking to somebody and you're almost on autopilot while you're doing something else? That's exactly how it feels now that I'm looking at my final makeup look because I don't really remember. <laughs> doing this because I was talking so much that is like such a weird sensation anyways I hope you guys are gonna enjoy today's video don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below of course give you a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and without further ado let's get right into it before I start spilling the tea so they say I'm gonna moisturize my skin has been so dry lately i feel like it's the change of weather for some reason whenever there's like a big shift in weather my skin just freaks out so it's been really dry lately so i'm just gonna slather on multiple layers of this moisturizer this is the new drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream i just started using this it's probably like my fifth time using it and i really like it so far i don't really have like a solid opinion on this product yet um but it feels really nice, makes my skin feel good, and it has broke me out. So, so far, so good. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this. You guys know that the Lolo Retro from Giant Elephant is like my go-to jam. I'm interested to see if this is gonna replace it. So, where to begin, where to begin? I don't even need to look up my <laughs> Twitter questions right now to know one of the most asked questions, and that is, what the hell did you go to school for? It's a question that I've not avoided, but I've just sort of not really answered directly. And that's just because school is, has always been something that I've wanted to keep private, not really for any particular reason other than privacy. That's just what felt right to me. So I haven't ever really said, maybe I have like once or twice on like Periscope, what I study. And I always said that like once I graduate, I will talk about my schooling and how I dealt with it and what I study and, and all of that. So the first huge update is that I finally graduated university. Just let's, just let's just take a moment for that. It feels really weird to say that and it still doesn't even feel real. Like I'm still waking up every morning um, with a ball of anxiety in my chest, just thinking I have so much essays to write, <laughs> but I don't. Like I finished my last exam yesterday and I am free. I studied communications, a specialization in communications actually, which makes me sound very, very fancy. And then I did a concentration in film. Looking back, I feel like it's probably the best program I could have picked for myself because it's so relevant to just today's society and also to what I do. I feel like the comms program that I was in was fairly different to other communications programs. Mine was very um, practical and theoretical. For example, like I said, I did a concentration in film. So I literally spent a whole semester producing a movie with a few other classmates. And I feel like that did sort of help the production of my own videos. Like I definitely know what I'm doing as far as working a camera and working lighting and all that. And that's because of my schooling, which is cool. You learn something, that's what school is for. <laughs> I would get asked all the time and I still get asked all the time how I balance school and YouTube and honestly, I don't know. Like, I don't know how I did it. It was very overwhelming. I've had multiple, multiple mental breakdowns because obviously school is really important. YouTube is my job, so I also take it very seriously and I'm such a perfectionist. Like, I can't just whip up a video and throw it up. Like, I put a lot of time in my videos and I think you guys know that. Having to sort of split myself up in two and having to, you know, work on school and work on essays and group projects and also, you know, do everything for YouTube, traveling and editing and filming. I do everything by myself. I mean, I do have managers who are fantastic and who work on the back end and who like take care of all my emails and opportunities and stuff like that. And honestly, without them, I don't know what I would do. But just to say that, balancing it was really difficult and I just want to say like if you are also balancing school with a full-time job or if you have two full-time jobs and you're looking at me and you're like oh my god Jamie just has it so together I don't know how she does it just know that I've also struggled so much with balancing and <laughs> it's only normal because it's freaking hard this foundation doesn't match my neck at all I don't know what happened but my math face and body just doesn't match me that's so weird. I'm gonna have to really bring this down half of my body. But the one tip that I do have for those of you who are trying to balance a lot of things in your life, and that is to plan. A planner is literally the one thing that saved my life. Just knowing what I'm doing 
every single day and just planning out all of my essays and tests and presentations that I have to get done and then all of the things that I have to do for YouTube and my job having it down on paper and just being able to visually see it is really the most helpful thing ever and that is honestly what has saved my life that's why I loved bullet journaling so much because it really just took away a lot of my anxiety just having everything down on paper knowing exactly what I have to do it's a freaking lifesaver. It's really funny because a lot of you guys are asking me, now that I'm done school, like what are my plans? Like, am I gonna continue YouTube? Am I gonna do start doing YouTube full time? YouTube has always been like a full time job for me and, and school is what sort of took the role of being like part time in my own head at least. So the only thing that really is gonna be changing is that I'm gonna be able to focus so much more on YouTube and my videos. I'm gonna be able to do maybe bigger productions and just different types of videos. I just can't wait to put all of myself and just all of my energy into this one place. I definitely want to start branching out a little bit more as far as like the content on my channel. I wanna start doing more lifestyle type videos. I want you guys to get to know me a little bit better because I feel like I've been on YouTube for five years. Most of the content that I've posted has been beauty related, which is great because that is one of my huge, huge passions. But I really want you guys to know a little bit more who I am. I wanna do maybe more vlog style videos, still doing the beauty stuff that I've always done, but just incorporating some things that are a little bit different and that will sort of give you a better look into who I am. That's so cheesy, but you know. By the way, I'm trying out this new Hourglass Translucent Powder. It's the Veil Translucent Powder. So let's see, I'm gonna like set my under eyes with this and see how it looks. Another big elephant in the room was the fact that I moved. <laughs> and it's a really big change because not only did I move, but I moved in with David. If you didn't know, David is my boyfriend. He's been my boyfriend for the last almost eight years now. And um, we hadn't lived together prior. So it was a really big change moving into this new place and also moving in together. It's been a really um, cool, journey i guess you could say it's also been a long time coming like we've both been like waiting for the day when we could when we would be able to move in together and oh this powder is really nice by the way damn so david and i both pretty much knew that we wanted to live together obviously um and he was originally just going to move into my previous apartment and i wasn't really sure whether or not i wanted to renew my lease for the apartment or start looking for another place so when i had started looking i had told david that i was just looking for fun it wouldn't be too serious maybe i'll look at a few places but i just sort of wanted to see what was out there because you just never know how long it could take to find a place so this was the first place that i saw i visited it it literally checked off every single box of mine when something like that just falls in your lap and everything just seems to fall into place it's really hard not to just let it happen i just want to say probably the most stressful thing i've ever gone through in my life i am not built for real estate let me tell you it really was not planned like it literally took a month for me saying yeah i'm just gonna look we're just gonna see it's out there to us literally signing the papers side note going into this morphe blush palette this is the warm blush palette that just came out it's very very pretty actually lots of really nice shades in here i think i'm gonna use this one right over here called goals so yeah, that's sort of what happened. It was very unexpected, but I'm like so grateful that we found this place and we have been really enjoying living together. It's honestly, it doesn't even feel that different because we've been together for so long. I feel like we know each other so well. A lot of people were saying how different it is when you first move in with somebody. And I agree with that. Like it's definitely very different. You just experience each other in very different ways and it's like 24 seven. But I feel like because David and I know each other so well and we've been together for so long, there really was not any surprises. By the way, I'm using my Tarte Tartist Pro Palette for my eyes. I got a few questions asking me, do I ever want to move out of Canada? And no, not really. I love Canada. A lot of people always ask me like if I ever plan on moving to LA and it's definitely not really in the cards for me. I just don't really see myself living in LA. Like I said, I just love Canada. I love where I live. Um, and I couldn't see myself also not being near family. I think that would be really really hard for me and what's really nice about social media and the job that that i do is that you could really do it anywhere i don't have to be in la to do what i do if a lot of people are asking me if i'm planning on getting like another job that has to do with my degree um instead of just doing youtube and the answer is 
no, I don't plan on getting another job uh, using my degree. I feel like I am already using my degree doing what I do. I have worked really, really, really hard to get to the point where YouTube can be my full-time job. Just sort of seeing where it takes me. Um, that's not to say that I don't plan on doing um, other ventures because I definitely do, but it's going to be something that I start myself. You guys will have to see. Olivia on Instagram asks, well, she did ask what I was in school for, already got you covered. And she also asks, has what you wanted to do in your future changed since, since you got into YouTube and makeup? It's changed, but not that much. In my elementary school yearbook, it asks like what we wanted to do when we were older. And I said that I wanted to either be a director, a producer, or an actress. And I feel like that's what I do now. I mean, I'm not an actress but i produce and i direct and i'm also in front of my own my own movies as of right now at least i'm doing what i've always really wanted to do however i have a little story for you guys and maybe this could be a little bit motivational for some of you so before starting youtube or makeup or anything like that i thought i wanted to be a photographer i would spend all of my time taking pictures and just reading about photography and trying to learn as much about photography as I possibly could. At this point, I think I was like 17-ish and that's what I thought I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to be a fashion photographer. So I had applied to a very competitive program. I put my heart and soul into my like admissions portfolio and I didn't get in. And that was devastating. I will never forget that. Not only did I not get into that photography program, but I didn't even get into my second choice. And I ended up getting into my third choice. That was such a slap in the face for me. Like I literally thought my life was over at that point. I just felt like I had no idea what I was doing. And you know, when you're in your late teens, early twenties, nobody knows what they're doing. And I feel like everybody thinks that everybody has their shit together but nobody has their shit together. I talked to so many of my friends who struggle so much with feeling like they are not accomplished or feeling just really frustrated because they don't know what they wanna do. And I think a lot of people forget that that's so normal not to know what you wanna do for the rest of your life. But at that time, I really just felt very, very discouraged. And I almost felt like it was the universe telling me or rather, the university admissions people telling me that I wasn't good enough. I ended up taking a semester off at that point. I didn't end up going to university. Um, I thought that I instead wanted to be a graphic designer. And it was during that sort of like gap semester where I started my YouTube channel. And that's all to say, if I would have gotten into that photography program, who knows if I would have ever started my YouTube channel. There's a few life lessons in this. <laughs> Number one, everything always happens for a reason and I really, really believe that. If you're feeling discouraged, if you feel like you don't know what to do, just give yourself that time to figure things out and I promise you, everything always falls into place. And it's so important just not to compare yourself to other people and where other people are in their lives because everybody's on their separate track. And even if you feel like your friend is so far along and, or maybe you're jealous because they're where you want to be, you use that as like a driving force or inspiration rather than a comparison and I promise you will get there whatever that may be. I would also really like to know what other type of videos you would like to see from me. Like I said, I really wanna start expanding my content and doing things that aren't just beauty related and sort of just exploring my other interests like on my channel. For example, I'm really into food. <laughs> I'm really into fitness. I'm really into just, you know, so many other things. And I would really love to know if you guys would be interested in seeing any of that stuff and if so, what? Literally every single question that you guys asked me had to do with finishing school, what I'm doing with my degree and all of that. And I feel like I've answered all of that. So I guess those are really all of the burning questions that you guys have. So now I'm just gonna apply my lip. This is my Fresh Sugar Tulip Lip Balm. It's like a really pretty raspberry. Hmm, so pretty. So guys, that's it. I really hope that this video sort of puts uh, some of your curiosities at ease. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below. Of course, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy these types of, you know, casual chit chatty, get ready with me type videos. And of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.